<laughs> oh, here it is. Yeah. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough post commentary here because I did not know when I was going to defeat this thing. And I, <laughs> I was basically commentating over footage that was getting scrapped. So, yeah, I decided to just do it when I could do it, and whenever it happened, I would get it on camera, and then I would commentate over it. But first, some failed runs here, while I, while I explain some stuff. I go up to that dirty spot on the ground where there's no grass and stuff on there, as a sort of, kind of, place to get set up, and I try and shoot its stomach to get its health down just a little bit, because that's one of its weak points. And then I just do this thing like I usually do, only I do something different here. Uh, instead of trying to break the armor off, I do a little jump off the sword. Now, um, initially, I before I did this by jumping from the sword to the belly by using uh, a certain jump at a certain time, but I'm very inconsistent with that, but I found another way to do this, yeah, like that. When its arm is moving down like that after you get on top of it, you can actually jump on top of it from there and get on top of that ring that you'd normally have to break off. And that's a lot more consistent for me, and that's the method that I decided to use here because I had a lot more consistency doing that, and I was getting ticked off trying to do the jump from the sword to the belly by using the sword's momentum. So, yeah, I just did whatever worked for me at this point because I was getting pretty frustrated, and I came across that by sheer luck, and, well, I'll take it. <laughs> so, yeah, since I figured out an alternate method. It's slower than just jumping from the sword to the belly, but it's more consistent, and that's what I was going for here. All I wanted to do is do something faster than having to break off the armor, than to run up the sword and up to the arm, and yeah, you get the idea here. Uh, the whole routine from that I did in the story mode type thing, because there just isn't enough time. But my run was shot because I accidentally <laughs> fell off there. <laughs> I mistimed my jump, and I noticed I took too much time there, so I retried. And over here, for some reason, I randomly fall off! Yep! Uh-huh! Isn't that lovely? <laughs> and over here, similar thing happened. Yeah, I didn't manage to really grab on, so I fell off at that point when I tumbled. Um, over here is another similar sort of situation, is that I'm trying to recover stamina up on this platform on its new weak point area on the left arm, and, yep, I fall. Great, isn't that lovely? <laughs> now, just imagine that, but for th about three hours. Yes, it really took me around three hours to finally get a successful run on this thing. And here it is. <laughs> Alright, so from the top, I go to this bare ground part here, and I start shooting its belly to try and knock down its health. Um, the RNG of this one is just ridiculous. No matter how many times you play this one, it's still gonna get you every so often, if not most of the time. So, okay, now, what I do when I run up the sword is I go to this specific spot and then crouch down so I don't topple over the edge. See that? I'm kind of losing balance there, and that's the point where I'd normally be, have to jump from that spot to the belly. But since that doesn't seem to work for me every time, I just start, started doing this method. Now watch when that sword tilts down like this, and now jump now, and you'll be able to get up here. See, when his arm moves down, you jump from the sword to the arm, because his arm, the place that you can grab onto, goes underneath the spot that you're jumping from, and then you're able to jump from that spot to where the arm is going. Yeah, I found that by sheer luck, and I am happy I did. <laughs> now, speaking of luck, this is where I start getting some really, really good luck. I get myself in just the right position here, and for some reason the shakes just aren't really affecting me, and I'm able to continuously charge this, and I notice that I'm able to continuously charge this despite the shaking going on, so I took full advantage of that. But despite me getting full charge shots off at its belly, look how little damage I'm doing at a time. This is why it's so ridiculously hard to do this in hard mode, because it has so much more health than it did before. And, as a bonus, you actually have one minute less time to do this than you do in normal mode. <laughs> Normally in hard mode you get more time because of the extra health. Oh, no, 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 not Gaius. Oh, no, not Gaius. They made it excessively hard. So hard, in fact, I wonder if they even tested this, in all honesty, because if you try and do it the way that uh, 
you know, you get it to break off its ring around this shoulder, I mean its arm, and then, you know, you do the whole re regular method. Uh, it just seems like you don't have enough time to do it because of the a sheer amount of times he sh decides to shake. So that's why I had to do this sort of method for consistency. Now, um, as you can tell, I'm flailing a bit on its horn, but I'm not really too worried about this at the moment because I can tell already that I'm making good time. Now, um, you'll notice that his, his head is dipped down into a specific spot and he's not really shaking much. I notice he does this when you're running up his arm and it's tilted backwards, like when you're able to run across his arm while it's tilted backwards. So I think you'll be able to actually get a couple free shots off on his head there if you get there quick enough after getting from his arm. And al alternatively, you could actually go back to that ring around his arm and then do the climb all over again, you know, and, and he'll do that arm thing and give you more opportunities to strike his head with uh, full power. But obviously there's a pretty huge risk in that because you've seen how I fell off rather easily just trying to run across it on the other run, so it's not something that I'd recommend if you're aiming for consistency. Just do it initially when you get there and then, yeah, work work with him like you would normally up here and just hope that he just doesn't shake all that much, I guess. Uh, but I'm still making decent time. I just need about a minute for the one on the back of his left arm and then I know that I've pretty much got it because as long as I don't fall off it, like I did randomly that one time, um, I'll be able to rush over and just be basically be able to chain attack that spot on his arm, because he does this animation where he gives you enough time to re-stab it after you stab it once, um, you know, like via pain, and it, it, what it does is it, it gives you the opportunity to be able to actually pull off the maneuver. And okay, as you can tell, I, I've got a little bit over a minute here to get over to the spot, so I'm making good time. So I'm, right now I'm going to try and recover some stamina, and it's going to take me a little bit here. Don't worry though, it goes up pretty quick, because remember that it knocks you down to the bare minimum that you can get. And now here's some real luck. Watch this. I drop down, and yeah, I sort of kind of teleport to that spot. This is because the game thought I grabbed over to the left, I guess, or maybe it pushed me over to the left because of that edge on his arm there. But after I got here and he was just doing this repeated animation, I knew I had it because he just kept doing that until victory was mine and my insanity levels grew a little bit. <laughs> I mean, three hours. And look at this, this is funny here. Dorman gave me the tip on how to break apart its arm, uh, arm ring, as it was already dying <laughs> during the cutscene. I can't believe that happened. That is just spectacular, though. The, like the whole run be between that that Dorman line and the the amount of luck that I got there. That run is probably one in a million. <laughs> but I did it, and I got the last item. Unlocked in the pool on camera. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so happy even now. But I was getting really ticked at this guy. Um, when I was actually trying though, because it was, it was just getting on my nerves having to retry it over and over again. Uh, I'm sweating now even thinking about it. Well, maybe not really, but <laughs> just thinking how long it took actually get a run of this on camera just ridiculoso to the max so all right here we go last item what is it what is it it is the queen sword uh, it's a super powered sword that can kill Colossus quite quickly can't use it in time attack but yeah it does lots of damage it doesn't do all Colossus in one strike, let's just put it that way, but it'll definitely do a lot more damage in your typical sword to the Colossus. And now after this little cutscene type thing, I'll equip it and show you what it's like and whatnot. Uh, so I'll jump out of the pool and then I go up to my items. There we go, all eight items equipped at once. Now I get, when I get out of the cutscene, take a look at this. To use the brown horse, hold square when making a selection on the title screen. And I'll show you that in a minute or so, but yeah, this is what the sword looks like, and now I, what I'm going to do is get back to live commentary nice and quick after a couple of uh, sword swipes here and there. 
<laughs> I'm just sort of giving you a little 360 view of this sword, I guess you can say. Um, but yeah, because I, I knew I'd have to post commentate this later. I didn't know how long it would take me to do so. All right, post commentation done. Let's get back to the real deal live commentary. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to live commentary. <laughs> So, let's take a look at the uh, Agra. Oh my goodness! Brown! Yes! By holding square on the title screen when you make a selection, you change the color of your faithful steed to brown after doing ye all hard mode challenges. And this is... Yeah, she's stuck there. <laughs> so anyway, I'm back on the normal mode save file here. The one that I got all the lizards and fruit on. Only it's mode 2, and off camera I did all the Colossus time attacks, yep, so that means over here in the pool is every single item that you can get in normal mode, but I have yet to pick them up, so uh, let's do so, I don't know which order are these, <laughs> I mean, they, they aren't exactly marked, so I'm just going to start picking them up and uh, do my explanations as I go. <laughs> That's what it looks like when you have all eight in one. That is a whistling arrow. By using it, thou shalt be able to avert the attention of a colossus. This doesn't work if the Colossus already has his eyes set on you, though. Just It's just basically a distraction if it loses you. Um, so, yeah, it's not it's not an end-all solution to get a Colossus to stop attacking you or something like that. So, okay, there's our first prize. Whistling Arrow. Alright, let's see here. There we go. See that? It's got that little orangey... Yeah, see that? Okay. Listen, listen, listen! <laughs> and that's what it does to attract the watch to distract Colossus' attention. Alright, next one I'm gonna go over to, I guess, will be here. What is it? What is it? It is the Cloak of Force. It increases your attack power, basically. Um, you know how you, you got the items of Lord Emon in the hard mode type place? Well, now you're going to get him of his partners in crime, I guess you could say, <laughs> of his disciples or whatever they are. It's hard to tell what the game story, as I explained before, who's good and who's bad. But yeah, in this case, we got a new thingajigger for his buddies. <laughs> the Cloak of Force, and yeah, just increases attack power, uh, which it's kind of hard to see. Well, actually, the light helps that. It doesn't have the usual sigil on the back there. Uh, but it just has its own specific design. Okay, going back over to... E oh, did I just grab the one? Oh, no, I thought I grabbed the one in the middle of those. <laughs> that is the Mask of Strength. Yep, another power-up boost. They're stackable. And, uh, again, it's another sort of thing that looks like his disciples, so... Yep, 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 yep. Oh, yeah, more power. <laughs> And I would like to show this today, if you don't mind, Dorman. Thank you. I very much appreciate that. <laughs> Alright, so pause. Good item. Mask of Strength. And there is our mask. Yep. Looks quite like theirs, I gotta say. Alright, now over here. Let's grab this one here. Hopefully I got the right one. Okay. <laughs> The Lizard Detection Stone. I'm I'm pretty sure you know what this does by now. <laughs> it's it's self-descriptive in its very design, actually. <clears throat> so yeah. Get your lizards while they're hot. And there's actually a lizard in the cutscene there, just above the the if you rewind the video a little bit. Alright, so we already know what that one does, so I'm not gonna Oh, maybe I'll I guess I'll equip it for kicks, show you it's not really anything different than the other one. Oh, I got it in a different order, that's alright. So yeah, there we go, yeah. Basically, same locations of the lizards. Alright, let's grab this. Which one did I grab this time? 
It's the fruit tree map! Yeah, there's one for normal mode, uh, new game plus, just as there is for hard mode, new game plus, so... There you go! Collect your fruits while they're cold, and not rotted. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. By the way, the last item, if I'm going to get it last, is uh, a spectacular item when you get all 16 Colossus Time Attacks beat. But I'll, I'll cover that when I get to that. Uh, so yeah, fruit tree map, there we go. And, 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 oh, 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 no, oh, yeah. <laughs> that is the Mask of Power. <laughs> Another mask. <laughs> Well, actually, maybe this is the one that I was thinking of that looks like his disciples' masks. Yeah, I think this is the one. It's not It's not the one that I'm currently wearing. So, yeah. Power up even more! <laughs> actually, some of these don't stack, I think, in uh, normal mode. Like, there's another cloak that you can get that'll make you invisible. Uh, although I probably shouldn't have said that because it'll spoil it. But whatever! It's uh, You're going to see it in seconds anyway, probably. <laughs> Item... Ask of power, yeah. See it. You can't, you can't uh, stack those. It just kind of automatically switches them off. But uh, there is the mask of power. Okay, over here. <laughs> what is this? What is this? That is the cloak of deception. Yeah, this is the one that makes you invisible. Well, aside from a shadow. <laughs> um. While you will be able to evade the attention of Colossus, they will notice you if you're on their body, and they'll notice where you are if you're shooting arrows at them or something like that. So I guess you could combine this um, with the whistling arrow to distract their attention and be able to move them where you where you please. I guess you can say. Um, so it's kind of like a combo attack sort of dealio. Uh, but here I'll show you really quick cloak of deception, and it also yeah overwrites the cloak of force. This is funny. Watch this. Look at that! I'm missing! I'm gone! And, okay, maybe it's not really your shadow underneath, but it's it's like a really faint shadow of yourself. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can grab this invisibly. Can I? Yes, I can! <laughs> and this is the awesome item that I was talking about that you get when you defeat all 16 Colossus in Time Attack Mode. The Flash Arrow. This thing is so awesome, you've got to see it to believe it. It, it explodes, yes. <laughs> um, it, it, I still wouldn't use it over a sword, because the sword just does way more damage than this, but it is an alternate strategy that you can use to do damage to Colossus. It's also incredibly difficult to aim with it, but I think what you're going to find the most use out of this is uh, getting lizards, believe it or not. So yeah, I'm going to flash arrows there, and switch to... Um, there we go, that's the flash hero with that little sunburst thing. Alright, so I'm gonna show you. Actually, I should get the cloak off me. I'm gonna switch to the cloak of force just so I can see my character here. Uh, so yeah, we got. Oh boy, I go scared! <laughs> yeah, it's. It's a powerful beast. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's gonna be that powerful, but it's it's pretty powerful. Now, um, you can use this to knock down lizards and stuff from uh, ye old ceiling when other high places. Let's uh, kick one down. Where is the one that's on the ceiling? Well, let's do it right there. Bro! <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna make it fall. Cause it, oh, it did make it fall. Now, um, a thing to note though is that if this does not kill the lizard, and it just knocks it off. It will make it totally invincible, and you won't be able to collect its tail until you restart the game. <laughs> so there's a, a minor glitch associated with the, uh, um, yeah, the, the arrows of explosions and doom, you know, flash arrows, I'm just joking around here. Um, also a thing that you should look out for is that they can hurt you. <laughs> Yeah, so don't do them in close range to yourself. Um, also, if you should try and shoot them at aggro, yeah, she'll get a little bit frightened of these bad boys. And oh, 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 oh hello. <laughs> she'll knock her over, but like anything else in the game, it does not do any damage to her whatsoever. <gasps> oh, I missed. How did I miss at such a close range? 
<laughs> so yeah, our girl feel, feels the fear <gasps> of, of the flash arrows. And oh, that didn't actually knock her over. That's, that's interesting. It made her a little tipsy though. <laughs> These things are so fun to play around. Oh, it just went right through her. So fun to play around with. And uh, you're, you're hiding. You're, you're not going to make it. Oh, no. You're, oh, shoot. You made it. <laughs> you managed to evade the power of my... Oh, oh what the heck are you doing? <laughs> okay, that's, that's enough aggro abuse. And that's enough showing of items. What's with that flashiness that's going on here? That's kind of weird. So anyway, with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. Yeah, there's going to be a next part. There's, uh... There's other stuff, yeah! Did you, did you notice that? Other stuff! Stuff other, yeah! But they're super secrets. And so I'm gonna have a, another spe specific part for them. Anyway, doo -doo -doo.